हेलो एवरीवन नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट आर्टिफिशियल वेंटिलेशन नाउ व्हाट डज वेंटिलेशन मीन इन टर्म्स ऑफ रेस्पिरेशन वेंटिलेशन मींस ब्रीदिंग वेंटिलेशन मींस ब्रीदिंग नाउ दिस वेंटिलेशन कैन बी प्रोवाइडेड बाय टू मींस दैट इज नेचुरल मींस एंड आर्टिफिशियल मींस natural means that is uh, when we normally breathe naturally inhalation and exhalation of air that is natural breathing that is called as natural ventilation but when this natural ventilation stops or fails for some time due to some reasons at that time artificially air is provided to our lungs that is called as artificial ventilation this artificial ventilation is also called as artificial respiration it is a method of inducing breathing in a person when natural breathing has been stopped or faltered due to reasons uh, like drowning choking suffocation and electric shock now as i said that when the natural breathing it stops or uh, it fails for some time or so for a while at that time the air is provided artificially to our lungs that is the artificial ventilation now what must be the reasons for this um, failing of breathing for some time the reasons are drowning when a person drowns uh, drowns into the water at that time what happens when you take out that person from the water that person couldn't breathe because of the water it gets filled up in its air tract right respiratory tract because of that the person cannot breathe naturally so that is drowning then choking when you eat something and when that food uh, gets stuck into your uh, trachea or your food pipe uh, sorry uh, wind pipe at that time what happens you feel uh, you don't breathe in the air right so that is choking next is suffocation suffocation means um, uh, the proper amount of oxygen is not available for breathing at that time you feel difficulty in breathing that is suffocation then electric shock when a person gets stuck with an electric shock what happens for some time it's uh, that person's breathing stops for some time it fails so that is um, the situation when the electric shock starts to an person or the person gets stuck with an electric shock now these are the reasons by which the natural breathing or natural ventilation stops now during these uh, situations when the artificial uh, when artificially the air is provided to the lungs of the person so that uh, the person can uh, recover and can start natural breathing again so that method is called as an artificial ventilation or artificial respiration now if this artificial respiration is done properly it can save a person from dying or it can prevent a person's death so uh, this is the artificial ventilation now this artificial ventilation can be divided into two parts or two main parts that is first one is mouth to mouth respiration and second is respiration by mechanical means now mouth to mouth respiration means what it is an act of assisting respiration in which air is blown into person's lung through the mouth now as i said the situation of droning at that time when that person is taken out at that time uh, um, the rescuer what uh, that rescuer does that rescuer as we know that uh, after droning that person's normal breathing stops so in order to recover that normal breathing what the rescuers do they give mouth to mouth respiration it is also called as uh, cpr that is cardio pulmonary res uh, resuscitation now this method is used on patients as a part of cpr also in order to achieve internal respiration when the person is not breathing when the person is a uh, when the person finds difficulty in breathing or when the person's breathing stops 
for some time. At that time, this method can be used. That is uh, mouth to mouth respiration or C it, uh, it is also said as CPR. It is a part of CPR. The next is respiration by means of mechan uh, sorry by mechanical means. Now, here what happens? This uh, uh, air is provided or air is given by the means of a machine called as ventilator. Now here by means uh, by mechanical means means machines are used to provide the air artificially to the patients. Now the ventilator it supports breathing. It is used during surgery, treatment of serious lung diseases or other conditions when normal breathing fails. Now this ventilators, they, it supports breathing. It helps a person to breathe when the person's natural breathing fails. And this ventilator, it is used during surgery. Uh, when the doctors do any surgery, at that time the patient is kept on ventilator. It means air is provided uh, to that person artificially because the person cannot breathe by himself. So, uh, during the surgery or during the treatment of serious lung disease, if, if the person is uh, suffering from a serious respiratory disorder or a lung disease, at that time ventilators can be used or due to some other conditions where the normal breathing of a person fails at that time ventilators can be used and mainly it is used in hospitals as a part of life support and it is used in the hospitals as a part of life support now what does this ventilators do these ventilators Ventilators, first thing they do is they give oxygen to the lungs or they get oxygen into the lungs. The first thing ventilators do, they get oxygen into the lungs. Second thing they do, they uh, take oxygen, uh, sorry, they take carbon dioxide from the lungs. Or they remove carbon dioxide from the lungs. Remove carbon dioxide from the lungs. From lungs. And third thing that is they support breathing. Or they help the patient to breathe. Help patient to breathe. So, this is the artificial ventilation. Artificial ventilation in terms of uh, respiration, it is called as breathe. Uh, sorry, ventilation in terms of respiration, it is called as breathing. That is inhalation and exhalation of air. And when this natural breathing, it stops for some time or it fails for some time, air is provided artificially to the lungs of a person. That is called as artificial ventilation artificial ventilation is also called as artificial respiration it is the method of inducing or giving breath or giving air in a person when natural breathing has been stopped or it has been faltered now due to the reasons like drowning choking suffocation or electric shock these are the reasons due to the natural breathing or natural ventilation in a person stops now, if this artificial ventilation is done properly, it can save a person's life or it can prevent a person's death. Artificial ventilation is done by two types or there are two main uh, parts of artificial ventilation. That is mouth-to-mouth -mouth respiration. Mouth-to-mouth -mouth respiration is an act of uh, assisting respiration uh, in which the air is blown into the person's lung through the mouth. And it is used as a uh, it is used on a patient as a part of CPR, and in order to achieve internal respiration when the natural or uh, when the person is not breathing. The next is uh, respiration by means of uh, by mechanical means. Here the air is given by the means of machine called as ventilator. This ventilator supports breathing. It is used during the surgery or when treating a serious lung disease. 
और इन अदर कंडीशन वेन द नेचुरल ब्रीदिंग ऑफ अ पर्सन स्टॉप वेंटिलेटर्स आर मेनली यूज इन इन द हॉस्पिटल एज लाइफ सपोर्ट नाउ दीज वेंटिलेटर्स वॉट दे डू दे गेट ऑक्सीजन इन टू द लंग्स दे गेट दे ब्रिंग ऑक्सीजन फॉर द लंग्स एंड दे रिमूव कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड फ्रॉम द लंग्स एज वी नो इनहेलेशन टेकिंग ऑक्सीजन इन एंड एक्सलेशन गिविंग आउट कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड दैट इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ ब्रीदिंग सो हियर दीज वेंटिलेटर्स दे सपोर्ट ब्रीदिंग इट मीन्स दे गेट ऑक्सीजन फॉर द लंग्स एंड दे रिमूव कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड फ्रॉम द लंग्स and they help the patient to breathe so this is the artificial ventilation